Hi there everyone and welcome to another battle in Pokemon Moon. As you can see this isn't my regular Wi-Fi battles, this is an actual uh, in-person battle from the mid-season showdown in Lyon, France. I was there for the special um, special tournament, which was the day before, and I did alright. I managed to win the majority of my battles, came 20th out of 55 I believe, but uh, not good enough for top 8. The next day they had a mid-season showdown, and here is the final battle I had from that against a player called Timon. I'll just cover up the thing here so you don't see my immediate record, and let's go! It was a very fun event, and going around Leon was excellent. My opponent here leading off with Muck and Kartana. I brought Porygon 2 because I knew he had a Garchomp and Kartana. I am able to get that special attack rise, but unfortunately it doesn't help me out too much. Here I figured he'd either switch Kartana out or, or protect, and I just make a priority of getting up my Trick Room. So I go for the Curse with the Muck. Lowering that speed, raising the attack and defense. As his muck goes for a knockoff as well. Sorry if my voice sounds a little strange, I have been ill lately. And my throat is still a bit lame from it. <clears throat> so yeah, we do get the trick room set up. And I go for the knockoff on that muck, don't want it using its figgy berry. But he underspeeds me and is able to take out Porygon before Porygon is able to do damage to Kartana. This worried me quite a bit because uh, Porygon is my main thing for handling Kartanas, my main special attacker, if you will. <clears throat> so in comes the Raquinid, and uh, I'll go for the knockoff onto the Kartana, and I'll go for the liquidation onto the Muck, but the Muck does switch out into Tabu Fini. Unfortunate for me. As we see Protect on Gartana, that tells me the thing was not Assault Vested, so I would have been able to do considerable damage with Ice Beam. But Liquidation goes into Tapu Finny, and does a surprising amount of damage. Given the amount of damage it did, I decide to go for the Z-move onto Tapu Finny here. It, it looked like it would do about 50%, maybe more, but unfortunately Tapu Finny protects right there. And the Z liquidation goes off into the Finny, but... Good old Hydro Vortex. I quite love Araquanid. During this mid-season showdown, I managed to fight the um, old world champion, Arashio Mari, from Italy. Who won in 2013, I think, using a Mama Swine in Black and White 2. I was, uh... I... I told him I watched his match and it was great, but he proceeded to decimate me with uh, a Gastrodon with Fissure and a Celesteela with Leech Seed. Desperately wanting to win that man was. But yep, yeah, that uh, Z liquidation did nothing to Tapu Finny, who then switches out again. Luckily I am able to land the knockoff on Katana this time, which does do a considerable amount of damage. But the protects are getting pretty annoying as the Trick Room wears off. goes for Protect itself, as his muck goes for Poison Jab. Doesn't do too much to a Arachronid, and thanks to the Misty Terrain, I cannot be poisoned. Since I already knocked off Muck's item, I figured I'd go for Knock Off again onto Kartana to hopefully finish it off. We are able to finish off Muck here, as he sends in his Garchomp. This is a bit worrisome for me, but I do have... Um, I do have Tapu Fini, so as long as I take out Kartana, which I do, thanks to that Shadow Sneak boosted by Curse, and we see the Z ground move come out on me. But that's fine. I have Tapu Fini in the back, who should be able to handle the Garchomp after a liquidation makes connection. But yep, yeah, Muck goes down, quite unfortunate. But, everything is cool. 
Liquidation goes into Garchomp. And does a nice chunk of damage, even lowering the defense stat. Unfortunately taking that rough skin damage though. So away goes the Misty Terrain, but that's not too much of a problem, as he sends out his own Tapu Fini, and I send out mine. Mine has the advantage of being at full HP here, but I figure the priority now is to get rid of that Garchomp. And we all know Garchomps, they love to use their spread moves. So I take the risk and I go for a wide guard. And we do see the rock slide, which is excellent. That allows a Raccoonid to survive another turn and protects Finny from any flinches. He goes for a moon blast of his own onto my Finny. I pray that he doesn't get the special attack drop. And luckily he doesn't, as my moon blast connects on his Garchomp and is able to finish it out. Finish it off, sorry. And yes, my opponent, Timon, if I forgot to mention, was a person who made it into the top eight of the yes of the day before's special event, the main event. But uh, I think he was like the eighth place. But uh, so he he got himself some good championship points. But it allowed me to, um, but yeah, beating him here felt quite good. We see the moon blast onto a Raquinid which does survive it and is able to hit back with liquidation. I went for a calm mind there to make sure that Finny's moon blasts would not hurt me so much. And if I got a special attack drop then it wouldn't matter too much. But yes. And now that I'm plus one, a moon blast is able to finish it off. And I had a great time in Leon. I highly recommend traveling around for these Pokemon tournaments if you can. Like, it was a £30 return flight to Lyon from the UK. Uh, well, actually, I didn't fly straight to Lyon. I flew to Nîmes, which was just south of Lyon, and then I got a return bus um, for €18, Euros, I think. Or was it €21? Euros? And, um, yep. Yeah, very nice. And I got to experience Lyon, rented a bike uh, for £1.50 every day, and cycled around, cycled to the event. It was a brilliant time. I highly recommend travelling if you can. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.